Oh, we said I don't want to go to that play at the Willis's. Why not? Well, first of all, I hate plays. Second of all, I hate musical plays. And most of all, I hate going anywhere with the Willis's. <laughs> Forget it, George. You are not squirming out of this. I'm not trying. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Oh, I didn't, I didn't wait to see this show. You know, it's been sold out for months. Oh, no, at the Lily Fair School. Oh, good. Oh, no, hey. No. Oh, yes, they are. Could you keep it down in here? I mean, I can't hear myself think. That's because you're new at it. <laughs> well, it's impossible for me to write with y'all yelling at the top of your lungs. Oh, Florence, what are you writing? I'm trying to write a soap opera. A soap opera? Well, where'd you get the idea to do that? Well, I read about this housewife who wrote a new soap opera, sold it, and made a fortune. So I figured if she can do it, so can I. <laughs> you a writer? <laughs> now, George, you shouldn't laugh at Florence. You writers need encouragement. Now, what's your soap opera about? Well, I don't know yet. Um, I think I got writer's block. Well, maybe I can help. I've been in publishing for years, and there's a bit of advice I like to give new writers like you. Sell your typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Florence, just write about people you know. Uh, then make them bigger and broader. Yeah, make them all like Willis. <laughs> but, Mr. Willis, I don't know where to begin. Well, Florence, you watch soap operas on TV, don't you? Yeah. Well, you can get some idea from them. Sure, just outline your characters and let your story go from there. That's right, Blanc, just use your imagination. Hey, we would better get going or we'll be late. Good luck, Florence. Thanks, y'all have a good time. Oh, thanks, right, bye. Enjoy, so be up yeah. Oh, I can hardly wait yeah. to see this. Oh, kidding aside, Florence, I'd be the last one to tell you that you're wasting your time trying to write a soap opera. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. Florence, you're wasting your time. <laughs> Wasting my time, huh? I'll show him. Let's see. Outline my characters. Write about people I know. Use my imagination. I got it. George R. Jenkins. Better known to his friends, what few he has. <laughs> as G.R. <laughs> A cold-hearted, rotten, and incredibly cheap millionaire drag queen. <laughs> G.R.'s wife. Warm, loving, faithful, suffering. <laughs> Helene Wallace, the Jenkins neighbor and Winnie's oldest and dearest friend. A woman with a deep secret. A secret so terrible that she'll do anything to hide it from her husband, Tim. <laughs> A successful book publisher with one fatal flaw. <laughs> Tim and Helene's daughter, Joni. She's beautiful, desirable, and very, very pregnant. <laughs> Joni is devoted to Lance Jenkins. <laughs> Giara's only son, a man trying desperately not to be like his father. Mr. Bosley, their classy English neighbor. Friend to the queen, translator at the UN, and uh, soon to take a long journey. Ooh, Alex Haley, watch out, because here comes the good stuff. 